Welcome back aliens, my name is Avind Reddy and in this video we'll try to connect OpenAI using a Java code and let's see if we can talk to the OpenAI. Now what we are trying to do here is we are trying to send a message to the AI and we are expecting a response from it. Now this message can be a normal message or it can be a question. Now based on which language you are working with, you can use that particular SDK. Now OpenAI provides you different SDKs or the official SDKs for different languages. And for that, you can just simply go to Google and search for OpenAI Java SDK. You will get to this page which talks about the libraries. Now there are multiple options here. If you can see uh, in the official SDK, we got option of uh, JavaScript, Python, .NET, Java, and Go. And you can see the code here. Straightforward, right? You can just get this Maven dependency and you can write this code. You can put your question here and you will get the answer. Okay, but then we'll be doing that in two steps. First, we are not going to use the SDK. Let's try to do that using HTTP request or the HTTP client provided by Java, and then we'll try to use this code. Okay, but before we even start with it, there are certain steps which I have to do. Uh, if you go up, or maybe in this code itself, you will see there is one particular thing which is uh, OpenAI client, and you can get this object with the help of OpenAI OK HTTP client dot from ENV. So what exactly you're trying to get from the ENV? And this is where you need the OpenAI API Key. So basically, this is the key which you have to keep your environment and it will fetch from the environment. Okay. Now, the first thing you need is API key. And of course, if you, whenever you try to work with AI or any model, basically you have to pay for it, especially OpenAI. Uh, and if you want to use it, you have to add some credits, not huge amount of money, maybe $5 will be enough. Now, how do we do that? So go to openai.com and log in. Now, once you log in, get into in fact let me just show you the steps so you have to click on login but when you click on login make sure that you select api platform chat gpt which we always use but this time we'll go for api platform and when you go there of course you have to log in and i have already logged in here if you can see uh, you can use google login as well and once you're logged in you can just go here and go to your profile and inside your profile this is where you have to create the API key. I already have done that here. Uh, you can see we got two keys here. And one of the key which we are going to use, I'm not sure which one I have copied it somewhere. Uh, but then before, and of course you can create the API key. Now this API key is going to use the models run by the OpenAI in their cloud servers. So of course they will charge you for that. And for that, you have to make sure that you go to billings and add some credit here. I got 3.53 uh, dollars okay so i have to recharge now but make sure that when you add some amount here uh, make sure that you have auto recharge is off otherwise uh, if you do some experiments and then suddenly it is started putting a lot of questions or using a lot of tokens for the conversation you will lose a lot of money it will auto recharge and then uh, that will be a scary part so at least for the starter go with auto recharge off and add some balance now, when you have that, once you have your, oh, the API key, it's very simple. You can just click on new secret key, uh, mention some name here, some text, and then uh, you can select the default project. And then you can select uh, permissions, click on create secret key. It will generate a key. Make sure that you copy it somewhere safe. And because once you close that window, you can't see your key. Again, you have to create a new one then. Not a big issue, but then keep it somewhere safe and make sure that you are keeping it safe. Okay, so now once you have a key, let's go back to this particular page and we can use this or we can use the HTTP client to do that. Now I'll not be typing the entire code, maybe I'll just try to copy paste the code just to make this fast. We are not here to learn Java, right? We are here to learn how do we integrate Java with OpenAI. Okay, now the first thing you have to do is open any IDE, whichever IDE you prefer, maybe Eclipse or IntelliJ idea. So create a project and this should be a Maven project. I will say OpenAI Java JDK. And then uh, the build system, make sure it is Maven because we are going to add a dependency there and then click on create. Now, once you do this, you will get this project. And at this point, I'm not going to add that dependency which we saw there, uh, but then we, got, we are going to use HTTP client. I'll just remove all this code from here and let's keep it basic. And let's remove all the extra comments from here. 
Okay, so what are the things we have, we have to do here? The first thing you have to do is you have to use that key, remember? Uh, in fact, even here, we have to specify the key, right? Now, where you will keep this key, it's very simple. Uh, for the main file, just go to current, uh, current file, edit configuration. And in this, you can just select, you can click on add, click on application, and then just name it something, I will say main, nothing changes there. Uh, select the main class for which you're going to do this and the main class is this we only got one class in the project then you will see an option of environment variables now this is where you can click on this particular icon here which is a file icon and if you expand this this is where you have to add a new key now what should be the name of the key now for that let's go back to the page and if you go up this is the name which we are looking for so i'll just copy this and plus this is the name openai api key and then the value now this is the value for your key i have that in the other window so that you can't see paste it here and that's my key click on ok now this will add the key there click on apply you know to be on safe side i will just delete this key once we recorded the video <laughs> i'll click on ok now once you have added the key here let's start working so the first thing you want to do is you have to save that key somewhere so i will say api key and you will get it from the environment and to do that i'll be saying system.getenv and this is the name openai api key so this will get the key for you and saved in api key i don't want to print it otherwise you will see the key uh, i'll just stick to it and you can try it on your own machine to print it then we need the http client okay so let's get the object of http client with the help of this and make sure that it is coming from this particular package so this will create a new client for you so if you want to interact to a particular api uh, this is what you can do with the help of http client now we are interested in the response right so i will just go to response here and let's say response is at this point is null we'll try to get this response and once you have the response you are going to print that response okay this is what we want to do uh, but again, response will give you the HTTP response. You need a body from it. So from this HTTP response, you are fetching the body. But then will this work? We need to also make sure that you got, you have to remove this null from here. And the way you can do that is by saying client dot, you have to send a request to the server. Uh, we have not configured the server yet. We have not specified the URI. But let's say we'll do that in this particular space. So using this client, I'm sending a request. And in this request, we have to pass the HTTP request object. That's one. And second, we have to specify HTTP response dot body handlers dot of string. Okay, so you have to pass these two parameters. Now, this is something which we have not created yet. So this will be fixed for you. This is what something will change. Now, we don't have the request object. So let's create a request object. So which is HTTP request 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 dot new builder and new builder dot build so this will create the object for you but then for this request http request object we have to pass certain things now what are these things maybe you have to pass the uri you have to pass the headers where in which you are going to also pass the api key uh, we'll specify the content type whatever content time you want from the server and then we'll specify what type of request you are sending get request or post request so those are the things you have to mention here so the first thing i want to do is i want to specify the uri and we can get that from the uri dot let's import this first uri dot you will say create and okay so this is the url which is suggesting no that's not the url so let me just get it from here I don't want to type it the entire stuff so this is the url which is http s colon apis dot openai dot com slash v1 slash chat chat completions so that's one step next step you have to specify the headers you can specify what type of content you want you want json format then you specify the authorization so uh, you have to specify the key api key which you have done here you have to pass that here and then you specify the request which is post request so we have to pass the object of body publisher to do that i will be using http request dot body publishers dot of string okay so for the post request you have to send some data okay so how do we send the data let's send that in the request body object and we don't have this object yet so let's create this object so i will say string request body okay that's not the body i want 
Uh, now, what are the things you need in this body? So in this particular body, you have to specify what model you are going to use because we are not specifying the models here. Uh, so there are multiple mod models available. We call it GPT-5, uh, which, which we're not going to use. We are going to use Photo. So we'll, we can use GPT Photo, Photo Mini, Photo. There's so many options there, right? You have to specify the message which you're going to send. Now, in this message, we can have two different types. Again, we'll talk about these types later in detail, but we can have two types. One, system message, and one is user message. Now, let's say if you are making an application for the movie recommendation. Now, in this case, you can the message which you will get from the user is, I want to watch a comedy movie. That's a user message. But then you have to give some role to the AI, right? We have talked about that in the prompt engineering where you can specify the role for it. Now you can specify that role in the system message. So as a user, they will not be sending, hey, you are a movie expert or movie review expert uh, and I recommend a movie. So a user will simply say, recommend a movie. So you as a developer, it's your job to specify that system message. So what you can do is, uh, I will just copy paste it here, the things which we talked about. So the request body will be having this data. So you have to specify the model, which is GPT-40. Then you specify the messages in which you have two roles. The system role, the content would be, you are a movie review expert. And the role which a user will give, of course you will get, you can get this message from the user, but it will say name one Bollywood comedy movie, just the name. And let's see what movie it recommends. And I will say, I will tell you if it is a good uh, movie or not. Okay, so you got request body here, which you are passing here. And once you got request object, you can send the request and you, you should get the response. But it might throw an exception. So I will just add that to the signature and that is done. Uh, we should be using try with finally or try with resource, but let's ignore. Okay, I just want to keep the code simple. Now, after doing all these things, it should be able to send the request to the OpenAI. And let's see if it is working or not. So if I run this, let's see, let's see. Okay, so there's no error. It is also specifying how many tokens it has consumed. And if you go up and the movie recommendation is Head of 80, that's a movie, Bollywood comedy movie, good movie. Okay. And if, if you try one more time, of course, as you know, AI, it will give you different messages every time. Okay. Same movie. No problem. Okay. So uh, this is how it works. But then what if you want to do the same thing with the help of what uh, OpenAI suggesting you the code? So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file and I will say this is OpenAI demo. And in this, let's use the code which they have given. So let's go back to the browser. The first thing you have to do is you have to add this dependency and I will do that in the palm.xml file. So in the dependencies tag, this is the dependency. And don't worry, I will share this code with you in the description. Check out the video description. Okay, dependency has been resolved. It is indexing now, that's done. The next thing you have to do is you have to just copy this code and okay, is it, okay, I don't want the entire code. I'll just copy this and paste it here. Let's import everything which is needed and make sure everything is coming from OpenAI. That's important. And there's a error here. It should work. I mean, I've tried this before. Let's, let's try with this. Okay, it's still running uh, the other one. Did they change the name of the method? It was working. Okay, let's stick to response. Did we just found a bug in the code? <laughs> Not sure. Okay, uh, so let's change this now and let's put the same question here. We're not specifying different roles here, but let's say if it is working without role. We just are pro we're just providing the input and we'll let's stick to the same model, which is 4 row. And now we can run this. But to run this, we have to edit the configuration, add a new application, we can name this as Open AI Java. Main class would be different now, Open AI Demo. Environment variables, we can actually copy it. Can we copy it? Yeah, we can. So I'll just go back here, copy and paste. Done. Once you have done that, you can run this code now. And let's see how it prints the data. So we got the response, which is this. There's no error, but where is our message? Again, we'll see later how do we get the exact text from this. But you can see we got the text as three idiots. Again, a good movie. So looks good. So this is how basically you can use OpenAI JDK library. And now this is just a basic code. You can do a lot of things. So let's say if you have existing Java project and if you want to use some AI features for the input, maybe if you are building a quiz application where you want AI to generate the questions for you, 
You can just ask for the text from the AI and it will give you, right? So simple. So that's how you do it. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next part.